Every day, millions of people wake up to a world without safe water, without a safe place to go to the bathroom, without hope. The global water and sanitation crisis is just that, a crisis. And we believe that as Christians, we should be on the front lines bringing that crisis to an end. It's a belief that has compelled us as an organization for more than 40 years. My father and mother, God used their desire of wanting to be a part of this vast world. He would tell me 30,000 people die each day. How can I stand back and not do something about it? And that was my mom and dad, Bill and Lorraine Ash, the wonderful founders of LifeWater International. It was uh, quite evident to me that this was a really big problem worldwide. But you start somewhere and you do something, and the people that we went to serve, it made a difference for them. Bill saw that safe water went beyond just building wells, and that to make a lasting impact, you needed to think about all aspects of health as it relates to water. In the 2000s, LifeWater officially adopted a WASH strategy, water access, sanitation, and hygiene, focusing on community development. We began with those three distinct curriculums, but even over time, those have adapted and changed to now include what's called LifeWater's vision of a healthy village. The vision of a healthy village is all about relationships first, a steadfast, ongoing commitment to community. Our local staff walk alongside families to tackle all forms of water poverty until a community is certified as a healthy village. Today, we are beginning to see the fruits of our labor. Right now, there are more than 66,000 people actively participating in our Vision of a Healthy Village program. It's across three countries and multiple cultures. Over the last 40 years, LifeWater has served more than two and a half million people across 40 different countries. But what's truly transformational is when the families we serve experience the love of Christ, and then turn around and do likewise for their neighbors. Well, one of the most profound statements that he made was, since you've done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. And there is a profound truth to that, that as a volunteer or as a worker, when you are in the rural areas helping the poor, there is a sense of Jesus' presence in accomplishing these things and the joy that you see in the faces of those that you're helping. And there's a, a uniqueness to that that's hard to describe, but it's true about how Jesus is there and His presence makes a difference in the way it's received, the way that it lasts, and what it does in the community. It becomes more than just safe drinking water for a few people. It becomes a miracle in the community.